Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. I'm Eustace Farmer, and please excuse the noise if you hear me jumping up and down on my seat because I am just thrilled. Bullet Bill has sent me an email, and it contained a whole bunch of photos to preview on his up-and-coming Cobro Park Farm map update. And I got to tell you, this looks fantastic. He's also sent me about a page and a half of all the improvements that he's made on the map, fixes, rearrangements, you name it. it. Is this an update? I don't know. To me, it's like a whole new map. It's a revamp. Um, I think you guys are going to be real excited too. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to treat it kind of like a teaser and we're going to go through and look at the pictures and I'm going to briefly touch on some of the improvements. But before the map is released to the public, after Giants goes ahead and does their approval process, he's going to give me a copy. And then I'm going to bring that to you guys, and we're going to go on that map, and we're going to have a look at each and everything that he's improved upon that we could possibly look at. So I hope you'll join me here. But first, got to get this out of the way. So here's a little use this beat as a little treat to get a little spring back in your feet. Silent scan. All right, so now that we got the formalities out of the way, here's the start page that you're going to be greeted with. And while we're on the start page, I'm going to mention this first because I know I'll forget towards the end. If you have the Chop Straw mod in your mod folder, well, you're in luck because this map is going to be Chop Straw ready. So if you don't have it in your folder, go into your in-game mod hub menu, grab that Chop Straw, download it into your mods folder. Another thing I'd like to bring up is hedge collisions for bale only. This is the first time in Farming Simulator history that this has been done. Bales will not roll clear across the map anymore. The hedges will have collisions for bales only, guys. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so you could still drive through the hedges, he said, but the bales will stop at the hedges. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the next photo. Okay, so here we are in the vehicle shop. This is on the main farm. Um, over towards the back, like where you to the right of where you usually spawn in um, and where your harvester is parked, big red harvester here. And you're going to see this little icon now. So this is also your vehicle customizing shop. So you can come in here and um, change out your tires and, you know, you paint and do all that awesome stuff that we can do now. You could do it right into here. Okay, so as you see in the picture here, so here's the vehicle custom shop over to the right of the photo in the extreme right. And then this is um, over by the wood pile in the wall, just beyond the blue fertilizer tank is usually where we spawn in. Um, I would assume that's where we will continue to do so. Um, so, but the big improvements here is all the fertilizer and seed triggers now work. Um, he's also put in this new lean-to shed area over here. Before it was like a little wooden type deal, and now it's got the matching roof uh, for the barns and stuff like that. So this is really, really cool. Okay, over here we've got that nice English style hand stack cement uh, wall over here. But this, in my videos, if you've been watching my Let's Plays, um, this is where I have the placeable seeds. So that's going to go bye-bye. Um, and I'll have to think of an excuse why we did that. <laughs> So he's got different style gates going on. These galvanized gates I've actually seen in a lot of uh, photos of real British farms. So it's really nice to see these added into the game. Okay, so the buy field icons are gone now. What you're going to have is the for sale signs. So you walk up to the for sale sign and that's how you're going to go ahead and uh, purchase your field. And I would assume do your missions this way also. Um, one thing to keep in mind, grass fields do not have missions. So if you see some of the fields that are missing missions and they're grass, that's why. There's another shot of that for sale sign for you. Okay, so I think this shot is pretty obvious. We've got traffic on the map now. And he said, you better watch out when you turn the corner without looking or cross the street. Don't be fooling around on your telephone because this traffic, they mean business. They're riding hard and fast. All right, so... Let's see if you can notice what's going on in this picture that wasn't going on before. I'll give you a second. All right, so if you haven't guessed by now, I'm going to go ahead and spoil it. So there's pedestrians milling about the cattle market area, the animal market area, um, that is just adjacent to the dealer. So here over on the left, that blue barn, that's the dealership. 
and then around the back, as you all would know, that have played the map, is your livestock dealer. So we have some pedestrian action going on now. And as you see, we've got animals in their pens. Really cool. Here's another beautiful shot of the countryside in this massive grass field out there on the horizon. So here's a good shot to mention. This one, and I think the next one, um, that there's improvements on um, hedge and foliage uh, textures, tree textures. You're going to see textural improvements on this map. So that's very exciting. And what a beautiful shot that is. He's got a good eye for photography, if I may say so. Okay, so here's an overhead view of Corbro Park Main Farm. And here we are down at Chantry Farm. So here's your seed and fertilizer tanks. And um, they're all fully functional now. And there's something else going on here that I'm going to show you. The silage clamp. So the silage clamps, he says, are both now fully functional, and he removed the one from Yetton Ridge Farm. Cow manure, solid, is now working and appears inside the cow barn for you to muck out. The wool pallet spawn is now moved to just outside the sheep barn. No more issues with spawning on the gates and fences on the side of the barn. Well, that's great news. The animal feed dirt areas have been adjusted to not spill into the troughs, making it impossible to clean them and get 100% uh, cleanliness. So that's great. So field definitions, they've also been improved. Um, you won't be getting that stop, you don't own this field message. Um, improvements on the crop coverage on mission fields, terrain smoothing in some places, no gates clipping into the ground, tip collisions improved on all sheds, barns, and manure bunkers. So here's something that I'm embarrassed to say that I have used a great deal on Cobro Park Farm, but I have never mentioned it, and it doesn't look like any other YouTuber has mentioned it either. Um, so water refill points, there are two water hydrants at Cobro Park Farm and Winnestay stores. You also have the pond at Field 19 you can fill up from. However, this will charge you the same as the water hydrants. So this is not going to be a free source of water, but it's an added convenience. So you can fill up from the pond. And that's just about it for now, guys and gals. So. Once the map comes out and I can debut that for you, we'll go through each and every feature in detail. Um, there's a lot I did not cover, and that was on purpose. Um, like I said, it's going to be much easier to do once we have the, um, the map to look at, once we're on the ground in the map. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope I've sparked some interest for those who already play Cobra Park Farm. And I hope I've piqued interest in those that have not played Cobra Park Farm before. Um, I hope I was able to kindle some interest for you. Please do stay tuned. As soon as I have more information, I will certainly pass it on to you. So until then, my friends, please take great care of yourself, okay? And bye-bye for now.